showdown here tonight in Pulaski, Tennessee. And we'll be right back with the opening tip-off right here at the Curry Christian Life Center. Your Smart Methodist College Red Hawks. Smart Methodist College, the Southern States Athletic Conference, and the NAI have formed a partnership to help promote character-driven intercollegiate athletics. The NAI's Champions of Character program empowers student-athletes, coaches, officials, and fans to have high standards and embody what character truly means in a competitive arena. Thank you for your support in this initiative, and please enjoy your time here tonight in the CLC. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin tonight's contest, at this time we ask that you please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps, and veterans, please render a salute as we honor America with the playing of the National Anthem. Starting lineups tonight, beginning first with our visitors from University Park, Illinois. They are the Jaguars of Governor State. Back here live, great <coughs> opening here at the Curry Christian Life Center as we just did the Star Spangled Banner National Anthem as the Red Hawks here gearing up to take on Governor State. As we have player to watch tonight, it's going to be Destiny Williams. And she is starting for the Red Hawks, number two, senior guard from Rutgers, Tennessee. And she was on the team last year for the Red Hawks. Senior guard Destiny Williams is one of the eight players to return to the squad from last season. That went 27 and 7 in her first season as a Red Hawk. Destiny converted 51 of 145, 35.2% total attempts from the floor. Williams was one of the team's top shooters from distance as she finished the, <coughs> finished the year 27 and 87, 31.0% from beyond the arch. Quick facts about <coughs> Mark Methodist College as it is located right here in Pulaski, Tennessee, not too far away from Huntsville, about an hour. As it was founded in 1870, at that time it was an all women's college and has just recently blossomed into a co-ed college. Enrollment right now is about 1,070 students. The president is Dr. Mark LaBranch. Our athletic director for the Red Hawks athletic department is Jeff Bain. You can find him on Twitter. And his Twitter handle is Brainy at Brainyology. Sports information director, <coughs> of course, is Wade Neely for the Red Hawks. You can find him at his Twitter handle at Wade Neely. Of course, you can also find the athletics Twitter handle at MMC Rowdy Red Hawk. <coughs> 
and this season for the Red Hawks women's <coughs> basketball team. Sorry, let me find it. Billy Evans. If you don't know who Billy Evans is, this is his first year coaching the Red Hawks. As Billy Evans joined the Red Hawks six seasons as a head coach. Uh, uh, Southern States Athletic Conference member institution with the University of Mobile, Alabama, as that was where he was coaching last. During his tenure at Mobile, Evans amazed 106 victories for the Rams and guided the Rams to two different conference championships and two trips to the NAIA National Tournament as Evans also boosted five NAIA All-American selections while at Mobile and won <coughs> Southern States Athletic Conference Player of the Year. Well, the Red Hawks, a stat comparison just before the game starts here. As the Red Hawks last season averaged 65.7 points, as the Jaguars only averaged 60 point, <coughs> 60% in rebounds. The Jaguars lead last season as they got 41.2. And the Red Hawks got 38.2. As we are about to tip off here, it is going to be Bethany Lavon doing center for the Red Hawks. That's going to be tipped to Chanel Howard as that's going to be given to <coughs> Tisha Worthy. Back to Chanel Howard from the top of the key. And she's going to look for somebody up and down the <coughs> right lane side. She goes all the way to the left lane side, tries to find <coughs> Tisha Worthy. That one's going to go out of bounds. Red Hawks get the ball back. Inbounding it's going to be Bethany Lavon going to Brooklyn Launcher. Launcher goes out to Treasure Hunt. Hunt's looking down inside back to Brooklyn. The Treasure Hunt goes up. No good. Rebound is good by Bethany Lamont for two. Red Hawks now lead 2-0 over the Jaguars. From the backcourt is it is Tisha Worthy. Brings it up. Ariana Dapper down inside the paint and is <coughs> down goes Bethany Lamont sorry Ariana Ariana Majors she hits the paint hard sorry Ariana Damper is going to take two foul shots right here so that first shot is no good she's going to have another Second shot is also no good, as that rebound is by Amber Brooks. Top of the key, <coughs> Heidi Thomas. Down to Tisha Worthy. And now it's going to be ripped away by Bethany Lamont. They're going to give possession back to the Red Hawks. As Lamont is going to inbound it to Destiny Williams. Excuse me, Brooklyn Blanchard. Blanchard gets it out to Ariana Majors. Majors top of the key down to Bethany Lamont. And she's going to find Blanchard. Destiny Williams goes back to Brooklyn Blanchard. As that one is up for three. No good by Treasure Hunt. Jaguars take back possession. As that is Heidi Thomas down in the paint. And it's going to go out of bounds. She was really hoofing it down the court to get it up for two. Jaguar still with possession, re <coughs> sorry, inbounding it. It's Ariana Damper. As this, <coughs> you hear me coughing a lot. This is my first time back on the air, folks, so just bear with me. There's going to be a lot of mistakes, so just kind of get in the spirit of it and just bear with us here. Up for three is Brooklyn Blancher. That's going to be no good. As the Jaguars take back possession. That one's going to lay up for two is no good by Amber Brooks. Red Hawks back with possession. Down inside for the layup is no good by Ariana Majors. Less than eight minutes left to go now. Ariana Damper from the top of the key is just going to look to go inside. Can't find any room. 
She's gonna find Heidi Thomas up for three. And it's gonna be no good off the rim. Looks like the Red Hawks are gonna have a substitution in as they have put in number 33. That is Lakin Arnett, sophomore from Collinwood, Tennessee. As Arnett looks out to Treasure Hunt, up for three, off the rim, no good. Jaguars take back possession. Amber Brooks from the back <coughs> court gets it off to Ariana Damper. Stamper tries to go inside. Red Hawks quickly steal back possession. That's going to be Brooklyn Blanchard into the front court. Up for three, and it's good by Destiny Williams. Red Hawks now lead 5-0 over the Jaguars. Still in the first period here. As Damper goes down inside, finds Amber Brooks. She twists and turns, and there's the whistle. Looks like that is going to be a foul. It's going to be Amber Brooks at the foul line. Her first shot is up and good. She'll have another. taking her time here. Puts up a second shot. That one's going to roll off the back of the rim. No good. Red Hawks still lead 5-1 now. So I'll cut the deficit now to four for the Jaguars. Down inside. New sub comes in. As that is number 25 for the Red Hawks. Lacey Reed, a junior from Unionville, Tennessee. As she hits the paint hard. Possession goes back to the Jaguars with Taisha Worthy inbounding it. Jaguars almost lost possession right there. Quickly, Heidi Thomas gets it back. And they're going to put up two and get two. As it looks like number 24 has come in for the Jaguars. And Ashante Sims. As the Red Hawks put up two. I'm not sure exactly who that was by. But they are now up 7-3. As that one was going to be wrestled by the ground by Treasure Hunt and two of the Jaguars, Ariana Damper and Taisha Worthy. Jaguars still with possession. Inbounding it for the Jaguars is going to be Taisha Worthy. She gets it down low to Heidi Thomas. Up for two, and it's no good. The Red Hawks getting it back down into the front court. From the left lane side, it's going to be Brooklyn Blanchard. Sorry, Destiny Williams. That one's going to go out of bounds. Red Hawks still with possession. Batting up for the Red Hawks, it's going to be number three, Brooklyn Blanchard.
Blanchard gets it all the way to Destiny Williams from the top of the key. And she's going to motion Lacey Reed. She's going to go to Lakin Arnett now, top of the key, down to Lacey Reed. Up for three, and no good was Faith Shero, freshman from Dyersburg, Tennessee. Destiny Williams is going to go out to Faith Cheryl. Back to Williams for three. And it's no good, and there's the whistle. As possession goes back to the Jaguars. Right now, Red Hawks still up 7 3. Less than five minutes left to go here in the first period. Bringing it from the back course will be Ariana Damper. She's going to motion out. This is the Chanel Howard back to Damper as that one's going to go to Amber Brooks. Under the basket, no good as that rebound's going to go to Taisha Worthy and she's going to get it for two. As that now makes it 7 5. It cuts the deficit by two now for the Jaguars as they quickly take back possession. Up for two is Ariana Damper, and she hits the paint hard along with Lakin Arnett. As they are going to send Ariana Damper back up to the foul line to shoot some free throws here. Her first shot is up and good. She'll have another. Coming out for the Red Hawks is Destiny Williams and Bethany Lamont. And we will have the people coming back in in just a few moments. As coming in is also, as well, Shamira Thompson. Shamira Thompson is from Dyersburg, Tennessee. Thompson is going to go out to Faith Shero. Shero shoots it all the way to Bethany Lamont. Under the basket, it's going to be Bethany Lamont for two, and she gets it. From the backcourt, it's going to be Ariana Damper. We'll bring it to the top of the key. She's going to motion out to Chanel Howard. And it looks like what's the number there. Bethany Lamont hits the paint hard whistle is blown. They're going to be sending up Tasha Worthy up to the foul line. First shot is up no good. She will have another. Fans, if you also didn't know tonight, you can also uh, view live stats of the game on GoRedHawks.com. As that shot is up and still no good. Red Hawks quickly rebound as that is Samaya Thompson. Ariana Majors gets it back to Thompson. Thompson at the top of the key. Now to best of the Lamont. Lamont to Thompson. Down inside, that's going to be quickly stolen away by Tisha Worthy, excuse me, Amber Brooks. Red Hawks will be <coughs> ruled back possession. And down to get from the baseline. It's going to be Bethany Lamont, excuse me, 
Faith Shero tops it from the back court, excuse me, front court, top of the key. Like I said, there's going to be many errors tonight, folks. So if there's a few in there, or many, this is my first time broadcasting back for a few months now. Jaguars back with possession. Janelle Howard going out to Amber Brooks under the basket. The whistle does blown. Red Hawks get back possession. Bethany Lamond is going to inbound it to Thompson for the Red Hawks. Thompson after Lamond. Lamond looking down inside, and she's going to find Ariana Majors up for two. No good. Rebound is the Jaguars. As Treasure Hunt is going to try and get that ball back, but not in time. As it is to be Ariana Damper back into the front court for the Jaguars. Chanel Howard down inside. That one's going to go all out of bounds off the fingertips of Ashawn Sims. Ashante Sims for the Jaguars. Bethany Lamont down to Thompson. She's going inside the paint, under the basket, rebound by Bethany Lamont. Off the rim, no good. Jaguars back with possession. It's going to be Tisha Worthy going out to Ariana Damper. Top of the key, down to Chanel Howard. She looks for a way down inside, spins and turns. Tosses it over to Tisha Worthy. She's going to try her style down in the paint. And that is going to be stolen away by <coughs> Destiny Williams. Sorry, Thomas on the Red Hawks up for two. And it's good. What a great night for basketball here at the Curry Christian Life Center here in Pulaski, Tennessee. Chanel Howard looks down inside the paint and she tries to go for it. Can't find any room. Down inside the paint, however, is Tisha Worthy back out to Chanel Howard for three. Going to roll out no good. Rebound is going to be by Ariana Majors. And there's the whistle. Looks like they're going to send Thompson up to the foul line for some free throws here. As that is some <coughs> Samariah Thompson. A minute three left to go in the first period. Red Hawks still lead 11-6. First shot is up and good. She'll have another. Second shot ends up and good as well. Right now, Samaya Thompson with four points on the night. Ariana Damper tosses it out. To new 11 coming into the game now. As she goes back to Ariana Damper. Down inside the lane for two, no good. The putback is still no good. By Ashante Sims. As new in the game now for the Jaguars, going to be Rachel Disser from Orlando Park, Illinois. This <coughs> Bethany Lamont. Now to Samara Thompson. The top of the key. Treasure Hunt from the left lane side, up for three, no good. That's going to go to Ariana Damper to Rachel Sims. Up for two and it's good. Are they going to count it? Yes, they are. As that was actually by Rachel Distor. shot, foul shot by Tisha Worthy is good. Right now she has three points on the night.
Shot up by Samaria Thompson. No good off the rim. Bethelino Lamont back to Thompson. Up for three. Still off the rim. That's the buzzer for the shot clock. Excuse me, that's the buzzer. At the end of the first period, your Red Hawks lead 13-9. As we're going to take a break right here. We'll be back. Back here live. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what to call this network. I'm not sure <laughs> what kind of network it is. Red Hawks Network, I guess, as we are on GoRedHawks.com. Tell your friends how to find this game. All you got to do is go to RedHawks.com. Go RedHawks.com specifically. As you can go there, go to the women's basketball season, click on the little video icon, and you can log in and watch women's Red Hawk basketball. Already started the second period. Right now, Red Hawks still lead. 13-9 over the Jaguars. At the top of the key, it's going to be Ariana Damper. And they are going to get it to Ashton Sims. Excuse me, Ashante Sims. That one's going to go out of bounds. Red Hawks back with possession. As Bethany Lamont is going to inbound it for the Red Hawks. She's going to get it to Samaria <coughs> Thompson. Brings it into the front court. Down to Destiny Williams. Excuse me. That is number one, Taylor McNary. As she is a local here from Pulaski, Tennessee. Three ball, no good. Re <coughs> rebound is by the Jaguars. And there's going to be stolen away by Taylor McNary. As she is going to try to put it up. That's going to be blocked by the Jaguars. Red Hawks finally get an inbounds. So Mariah Thompson tries to put it up. Red Hawks still have possession. Bethany Lamont gets it out to Thompson as she quickly recovers back off her feet. They're going to call foul on number 11, her first of the night. As that is going to be Faith Shero gets it out to Thompson. Back to Shero, down inside the paint, finds a way. Gets it out to McNary for three, just off the glass. Rebound is Bethany Lamont as she puts up for two and she will get to. Right now, Bethany Lamont with six points on the night. Ariana Damper is going to look to go inside. She finds the room, puts up two just off the backboard as Thompson is going to get the rebound. Brings it from the backcourt. Top of the key, trying to get away from Ariana Damper, goes to face Shero for the three. It's going to be just off the glass, no good. Jaguars take back possession. Ariana Damper with a huge pass all the way out to Rachel Distorp. And that one's going to be going out of bounds as we're going to get some subs in here for the Red Hawks.
Bringing it from the backcourt, it's going to be Destiny Williams. From the top of the key, goes out to Bethany Lamont. Back to Williams. Williams is going to motion out to Treasure Hunt. Back to Williams. Brooklyn Blanchard. Now down under the basket. Bethany Lamont up for three right at the shot clock. Ending is Blanchard. Jaguars take back possession. It is going to be Tisha Worthy from the top of the key. Difficult trying to find somebody as she just goes ahead and puts it up. No good. Rebound is going to be by either the Red Hawks or the Jaguars as soon as somebody comes up with the ball. So like I said, folks, at the beginning of this game, both teams are going to be finding tooth and nail for this game as this is the opener of the 2018-2019 season. It looks like timeout is going to be called by the Red Hawks as we're going to take a timeout with them. We will be right back here. On GoRedHawks.com. Back here live on GoRedHawks.com. Of course, you know you can watch the game right here at GoRedHawks.com. Just type that into your URL search browser on any search browser, Safari, Mozilla, Firefox, Google Chrome, whatever you want. Go ahead and go to, of course, you know the seasons for women's basketball, men's basketball. All you got to do is click on the little video icon. You can watch this game live, or you can go online and listen and watch the live stats. Whistle blown as the foul goes <coughs> to one of the Red Hawks. As that will be on Treasure Hunt, her second of the night. Up to the foul line, it's going to be Amber Brooks. Her first shot is no good. She's going to have another. Second shot is still no good. With the rebound, quick rebound. It's Lacey Reed. From the top of the key, it's going to be Destiny Williams. Red Hawks are a little confused on who's going to motion. It's going to be Blanchard going all of the way to the right side. And Yasmin Daniels coming into the game now. And Yasmin Daniels comes to us as a junior from Dixon, Tennessee, transferred in from Columbia State. Shot is up and no good. As the Jaguars will take back possession. That'll be Chanel Howard from the top of the key. Down inside. It's going to be Amber Brooks. No good. Put back. Still no good by Heidi Thomas. Looks like another timeout is going to be called. And it's going to be on the Red Hawks game. We'll be right back after this timeout right here on GoRedHawks.com.
Back here live on GoRedHawks.com. As the visiting Jaguars now wrapping up their timeout. Up at the foul line now, it looks like it's a new face in here. As that is going to be number one, Heidi Thomas, one of the original starters for the Jaguars. As that one is up and good, she'll have another. Off the rim, no good. As the Red Hawks take back possession, Yasmin Daniels with the rebound. Goes out to Brooklyn Blanchard. Back to Daniels from the top of the key. Down to Destiny Williams as she looks, tries to go inside, tries to get it to Bethany uh, Lamont. As the whistle is blown. So I'm not really sure exactly what happened there. Our referee is discussing it as we speak, calling in the third referee. To get his opinion here. Right now, Red Hawks still lead 15 10. Red Hawks still with possession. Yasmin Daniels is going to inbound it on the baseline. Goes out to Brooklyn Blanchard. She motions Daniels. Looks and tries to get it to Ariana Majors and is quickly stolen away. By Amber Brooks, who puts it up for two, lays it up and gets it. Ariana Amber Brooks right now with four points on the night herself. Bethany Lamont under the basket, tries to put it up for two. And there's the whistle. As she was indeed fouled right there, she's, they're going to send her up to the foul line for two. 5.32 left to go here in the second period. Lamont's first shot is good. She'll have another. Lamont right now with seven points on the night. Second one is good as well. That puts her now up at eight points tonight. From the backcourt, Tisha Worthy will finally bring it up as it almost ripped away by the Red Hawks. Tiptoeing on the baseline was Tisha Worthy as that's going to be stolen away by the Red Hawks. Thompson up for two, lays it up, and it's good. Thompson now with six points on the night. Tisha Worthy looks and goes out to Chanel Howard and a scoreboard malfunction is going to cause the referees to <laughs> sound the whistle real quick as of course here in the Curry Christian Life Center that is bound to happen at some point especially during volleyball games it happens unfortunately but it's no problem that a few seconds can't solve just let the scoreboard sit for two, uh, two to three seconds it pops back up and life is good again. Jaguars with possession. There seems to be some kind of confusion on the court now. Scoreboard goes out again. Lots of uh, different problems happening at once here. But it shouldn't stop things from rolling on here. Scoreboard back up. Jaguars still with possession, it looks like. It's going to be Tisha Worthy. Inbounding it from the baseline. She's going to go out to Amber Brooks, who gets it off to Chanel Howard. Back to Tisha Worthy. As up for two is Amber Brooks, and she's going to get it. And she now has six points on the night herself. Thompson from the backcourt for the Red Hawks. There's the whistle. And it looks like there's another scoreboard malfunction. 
The referee, uh, it looks like it might be the shot clock. Shot clock was messed up this time. As, of course, technical problems can occur. They can, can happen to anyone. A lot of times it's not even the person's fault. Sometimes it's just regular old wear and tear on equipment. Red Hawks with possession of the ball. As is going to be Bethany Lamont inbounding it for the Red Hawks. Yasmin Daniels coming in. Sorry, not coming in. She's coming out. Thompson on the top of the key for the Red Hawks. Shoots it out to Destiny Williams. Back to Thompson. As she looks to go down inside. Finds Bethany Lamont. Down under the basket in the paint. As that's going to be tipped away. Out of Ariana Major's hands. Bethany Lamont back with the ball. As she steals it away. A quick <coughs> error. Back to the Jaguars again. As Chanel Howard with this quick steal. Tipped away by the Red Hawks. Faith Sherrow behind her back. Thompson goes out to Faith Sherrow for three. No good. Jaguars with the quick rebound. Tisha Worthy. Going to give it off to Chanel Howard, who's going to walk it into the front court this time. Red Hawks still lead 19 16 here with three minutes and 37 seconds left to go in the second period. As that shot is good by the Jaguars, and I did not see who. That one's going to go from Destiny Williams down to Thompson as they're going to motion. Faith Sherrill going over to the left lane side. Williams over to the right lane side. Bethany uh, <coughs> Lamont out to Williams for three. Off the rim, no good. As Tisha Worthy is going to have that rebound. Going to Chanel Howard. Worthy at the top of the key. It's going to look. Almost has it stolen away. There's the whistle. Timeout is going to be called. And they are going. It is going to be on the Jaguars. And we are going to be right back. So we're going to take a quick break with them. Back here live at the Curry Christian Life Center with 2.45 left to go here. In the second period, right now Red Hawks still up 19-18. As the Jaguars now send up Amber Brooks the foul line for some free throws. First shot is up, no good. She's going to have another. Coming in for the Red Hawks will be Brooklyn Blanchard and Lacey Reed. Second shot is up and no good by Amber Brooks. Rebound is up and no good by the Jaguars as that one is good. And I believe that will be Amber Brooks. We're going to go ahead and credit her with the basket right now with eight points on the night herself. As Lacey Reed is going to get that one as it was almost tipped away. Well, it was tipped away by the Jaguars almost as they take back possession. Jaguars now take back possession, put up for two by Chanel Howard, no good. 
Jaguars with the rebound, and they will quickly get it out of bounds. And mounting it from the base baseline is going to be uh, Lacey Reed. confusion here on the court as we finally got things settled back again. Treasure Hunt is going to get it out to Reed. Out to Brooklyn Blanchard. Back to Hunt. Going down to Destiny Williams. Under the basket is going to be slapped away by Heidi Thomas as the Jaguars take back possession. As that is going to be Tisha Worthy up for two. No good. Tipped away and rebounded by the Red Hawks as soon as they get possession. The whistle is blown. And coming back into the game now, it's going to, in just a few seconds, it's going to be Bethany Lamont. Over the foul line, it's going to be Amber Brooks once again. She has eight points on the night. Her shot is up, no good. She'll have another. Lamont coming in for Lacey Reed. Second shot for Brooks is no good. Rebound by the Red Hawks. Destiny Williams gets it out to Treasure Hunt. At the top of the key goes out to Brooklyn Blanchard. Down to Ariana Majors. The Jaguars quickly take back possession. That'll be Ariana Damper from the top of the key back into the game. As they go down to Rachel Distor. Up for two. Is no good by Amber Brooks. Red Hawks, Destiny Williams up for two. No good, and there's the whistle. Right now, the Jaguars lead the Red Hawks 2019. As they are only ahead by one. Red Hawks looking to turn things around here with a minute six left to go in the second period before the buzzer sounds for halftime. Destiny Williams currently at the foul line for the Red Hawks. As she puts up her first foul shot, and it's good. She'll have another. It's Red Hawks and Jaguars now tied. Second shot is up and good as well. That's good enough to put the Red Hawks back on top by one. 21-20. Red Hawks, all they got to do right now here is hold the Jaguars the one-point lead. And help they steal it back as Destiny Williams gets it, puts it back up for two. And that now puts her up at seven points tonight. Red Hawks now 23-20 over the Jaguars. As there's the timeout, that's going to be taken for the Jaguars. We're going to take a timeout with them as well. We'll be right back on GoRedHawks.com. Here live on GoRedHawks.com. Jaguars with possession. Puts it up for two. No good. As the Red Hawks back <coughs> with possession. Brooklyn Blanchard is going to put it up. Tries to pass it to Treasure Hunt. There's the whistle. 38.1 seconds now left to go before halftime. Red Hawks still with possession of Brooklyn Blanchard. is going to inbound it from the baseline. And she gets it out to Ariana Majors. Out to Treasure Hunt for three. And it's going to be good. It goes in. 
Nice three-point by Treasure Hunt. Another good shot. I believe that goes to Brooklyn Blanchard. Our first two of the night. Treasure Hunt with another two. That's going to be blocked. 11.8 seconds as the clock stops. Amazing action and happening right here with under 15 seconds left to go before halftime as Treasure Hunt is going to have two foul shots right here. Foul is going to go on Tisha Worthy, her first of the night. First shot goes up and it's good. She'll have another. Second shot for Hunt is good as well. Hunt now with five points on the night. Tisha Worthy with a cannon. Goes out, that one's going to be tipped away by the Red Hawks. Stolen. Up for three is Bethany Lamont off the backboard. No good. Brooklyn Blanchard down inside the paint to Destiny Williams for three. Still no good. And there's the buzzer. As we now go into halftime, we'll be right back for your halftime show. Halftime presentation here, right here on GoRedHawks.com. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.
Best mic check. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Everything's good. We're going to go ahead. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to GoRedHawks.com. We're going to go ahead and do a quick, quick halftime show. Less than three minutes to go uh, before we begin the second half of the women's game for the Red Hawks and the Jaguars. For the Jaguars from Governor State, right now at halftime, Heidi Thomas with a total of three points. Ariana Damper with one. Amber Brooks with nine. Tisha Worthy with three. Ashante Sims with two. Or excuse me. Uh, Shante Sims and Rachel Dister with no scores. I counted them as scores earlier, uh, but they do not have any scores. Uh, for the Lady Red Hawks, Destiny Williams with nine points on the night. Brooklyn Blanchard with two. Ariana Majors with two. Bethany Lamont with eight. Treasure Hunt with five. Samaria <clears throat> Thompson with six. And that is all for the Red Hawks and the Jaguars at halftime. Those are your scores, individual scores right now at halftime. Lady Red Hawks lead by 10, 30 to 20 over the Jaguars as we begin here at the second half. Right now, tensions are high as uh, we've had different malfunctions, we've had confusion. Uh, but of course, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first game of the season. Uh, those mistakes are bound to happen, so it's, go, uh, it's good to go ahead and get those mistakes out of the way, so that way the rest of the season can just flow on by, especially uh, myself uh, commentating right now. Uh, mistakes are bound to happen, so once we just get pushed those past those mistakes, uh, we can have regular good old-fashioned flow of the game basketball right here at the Curry Christian Life Center as we are about to get underway with possession. Looks like it is going to be the Jaguars, as of course, we swap goals. Sometimes I forget that. Jaguars with possession, as it is going to be Chanel Howard. Goes out to Tisha Worthy. Back to Chanel Howard. Looks to go down inside the paint. It's going to be tipped away by the Red Hawks. Ariana Majors goes to Destiny Williams. Down to Brooklyn Blanchard. And she's going to motion for Treasure Hunt. Blanchard's going to motion around Destiny Williams. Finds her, as that is, looks like it's going to be tried to ripped away by Tisha Worthy of the Jaguars. As there's the whistle. Red Hawks still with possession. Treasure Hunt is going to aim out it from the baseline. Goes out to Brooklyn Blanchard. Blanchard back out to Hunt for three. And it's just off the rim, no good. Rebound is going to go to Ariana Damper. Excuse me, yes, Ariana Damper. From the backcourt to the top of the key. Damper goes down to Amber Brooks. Up for two, it's just off, no good. Rebound as Brooks is gonna get it herself. And there's the whistle. As Amber Brooks is gonna be sent up to the foul line for two shots. As her first shot is up and no good, she'll have another. As that foul is going to go on Bethany Lamont, her second of the night for the Red Hawks. Red Hawks now with one foul in the second half. That is no good. Rebound is going to be Bethany Lamont and she gets it out of Destiny Williams. Williams down in the front court looks to pass it to someone. There's the whistle. Possession is going to go back to the Jaguars of Governor State. Coming in for the Red Hawks, it's going to be Lake and Arnett for Bethany Lamont. As Amber Brooks gets it out to Chanel Howard. Chanel Howard from the top of the key. She's going to look motion out. Ariana Damper. That one's going to go down to uh, Worthy. Tisha Worthy down in the paint. 
It's going to go out of bounds, but they should back to the Red Hawks. Lake and Arnett to inbound it to Brooklyn Blanchard. Blanchard's going to motion Treasure Hunt, comes back into the game. That one's going to go to Hunt, down to Destiny Williams. Up for two, and it's no good. There's the whistle. She was fouled, and she will be sent out to the foul line for two shots. Williams' first shot is up and good. She'll have another. The next game for the women's Red Hawks basketball team is going to be November 1st against Bryan College hit CCL at 5.30 p.m. As that second shot is good as well. Right now, Destiny Williams with 11 points on the night. Chanel Howard up for three for the Jaguars. No good. Rebound is Ariana Damper. Excuse me, Amber Brooks. As that one's going to be no good. Possession still with the Jaguars as Brooks is going to be stepped to the line for two shots. Foul is going to go on T excuse me, Lakin Arnett. Her third foul of the night. Third for the Red Hawks. As that shot is good by Brooks, she'll have another. Red Hawks still lead 32-21. Right now as they lead by 11 points. Second shot for Brooks is no good. Yasmin Daniels back into the game, gets it out to Brooklyn Blanchard. Down to Destiny Williams. Williams goes out to <coughs> Faith Shero. Back to Fechero, down in the paint, tries to find her way, goes back out to Williams. To the right lane, excuse me, left lane side for three. No good. Jaguars going to quickly take back possession. Chanel Howard moves to the top of the key. Jaguars trying to set up a play here. She goes down low to Heidi Thomas to Brooks for two, and it's good. Brooks now with 12 points on the night. Yasmin Daniels out to Brooklyn Blanchard, back to Daniels. Yasmin Daniels, a transfer out of Juco from Columbia State. Possession's going to go back to the Jaguars. Inbounding it is going to be Tisha Worthy. Gets it out to Chanel Howard. Out to Worthy. Worthy back to Howard. Looks to go down inside the paint. And she's going to find Rachel Dister, who comes back into the game for the first time of the second half. That one's going to be popped up, bounced into the rim. Good for two. Ortizia Worthy. That was five points of the night. Tisha Worthy with the quick steal for the Jaguars as they take back possession. Down inside, Amber Brooks up for two. And it's good. like she was fouled as that foul is going to go on. Amber Brooks, her fourth foul of the night, possession goes back to the Red Hawks. Jaguars back with the steal. Chanel Howard from the backcourt tosses it out to Tisha Worthy. Amber Brooks up for two. She's going to get two once again. 
right now. Amber Brooks with 16 points on the night now. Timeout call. And who, whose timeout is this going to go on? We are going to take the timeout. Looks like it's going to be on the Red Hawks. We'll be right back. Well, go to redhawks.com right here. back here live on GoRedHawks.com. Right now in the third period with 5.59 left to go. Less than six minutes. 32-27 is your score. Red Hawks still on top. Brooklyn Blanchard goes out to Samaya Thompson. Thompson motions out to Destiny Williams. And she goes down inside to Ariana Majors. Rebounded by Yasmin Williams, put up for two, and it's good. As that's gonna be Yasmin Daniels' first two points of the night. Down inside the paint, it's gonna be Tisha Williams up for two, and it's good. Williams now with seven points of the night herself. Brooklyn Blanchard goes out, finds Thompson. Thompson gets it out to Destiny Williams. Looks, can't seem to find anyone. And it's going to have that one ripped out of bounds. Destiny Williams inbounded. Goes to Thompson. To Brooklyn Blanchard. Back to Thompson up for three. Nothing but net for Samaya Thompson. And she puts up three. Right now, Thompson with nine points of the night. That's going to be stolen back away by Thompson. Puts it up for two just off the rim. Jaguars are going to take back possession here. As that's going to be Ariana Damper. Is that one is going to be no good by the Jaguars. Yasmin Dang with the rebound. Brooklyn Blanchard bringing it up into the front court. Down inside the lane is Thompson to Yasmin Daniels for two. And it's good. Daniels now with four points on the night. Jaguars now with possession. Ariana Damper. Three is good by Rachel Distort. And she now has five points on the night. Samaya Thompson, top of the key, just hands it off to Brooklyn Blanchard. Blanchard doesn't want it, goes back. Back to Blanchard now. To Thompson, back and forth. As they're trying to decide who to get it down into in the paint, they're going to find Yasmin Daniels in the lane. And that looked like a foul to me. Referee's going to blow a whistle. And yes, indeed, they are going to send Yasmin Daniels up to the foul line. As that foul is going to go on Heidi Thomas. Her third foul of the night for the Jaguars. Daniel's first shot is up and good. She'll have another. Folks, if you are local and watching this game right now in the Pulaski, Tennessee area, Giles County, Lawrenceburg, somewhere close, to Pulaski, Tennessee, our Martin Methodist College. Come on out. Ready the Red Hawk has flowed in here to the Curry Christian Life Center as he has only shown himself uh, only select times as that second shot is good by Yasmin Daniels as she now goes up to six points on the night. From the backcourt is Ariana Damper. And the referees are going to blow the whistle. And they're going to give that foul to Samaya Thompson, her first foul of the night. 
excuse me, first foul of the half. Oh, it's going to be Tisha Worthy inbounds it to Heidi Thomas. Goes back down to Worthy inside the paint. Gets it out to Rachel Distor for three. Bounces just off the rim. No good. That's going to be Heidi Thomas with the rebound. Puts it up for two, and it's good. Thomas now goes up to five points on the night. Red Hawks back with possession. Thomas out to Brooklyn. Blanchard. Blanchard goes back out to Thomas. Thomas is going to check down. And they're going to get it out to Destiny Williams. Williams back to Blanchard. Blanchard to Thomas. On the right lane side. Back out to Williams. Now to Blanchard. Finds down Ariana Majors coming back into the game. As that one's going to be off the rim, no good. Jaguars back with possession. It is Rachel Distor. Now Ariana Damper from the top of the key. She's going to take it slow for a second. Try to formulate a plan for the Jaguars. Heidi Thompson down to Tisha Worthy. As that one's going to be tipped back and blocked by the Red Hawks. They're going to take it back up to the top of the key. Try it again with Ariana Damper going down inside the lane. She puts it up and she scores. As that's going to be two. Ariana Damper now with three points on the night. And she's going to go up for the end one as she was fouled in the act of shooting. Foul will go on Yasmin Daniels, her first foul. That one is up and no good off the rim. Brooklyn Blanchard, quick with the rebound. They go from the top of the key out to Treasure Hunt. Hunt up for three, no good. Bounces off as the Jaguars. Heidi Thomas gets the rebound. Goes to Ariana Damper down inside the lane. Lays it back up for two, just rolls off the tip top of the rim. And goes back to Brooklyn Blanchard. Brings it now to Treasure Hunt. Quickly saves it from being stolen. Goes out to Destiny Williams. Out to Brooklyn Blanchard down inside the lane. Ariana Majors puts it up and it's good. As right now, 43-36. Red Hawks still lead. That one's going to be passed right over. Ashante Sims' head going out of bounds. A minute 20 left to go here in the third period. As the second half is just halfway over. As the first game is almost about to come to a close here. Red Hawks doing so far so good here tonight. Blanchard out to Destiny Williams. So they go out and find... Taylor McNary, she comes back into the game. McNary out to Williams, puts it up for three, and it's going to roll in good. Williams right now with 14 points on the night. As that is, Heidi Thomas goes down. Excuse me, Ariana Damper is going to have that one stolen away. McNary goes out to Yasmin Daniel. Daniel out to Brooklyn Blanchard, down inside the paint, puts it up in the lane. Just off the rim, no good. Tisha Worthy with the rebound for the Jaguars. 24 seconds left to go, less than 30 seconds. As that and the shot clock are just a second off. Hottie Thomas up for one, excuse me, two, no good. Red Hawks still lead as they lead by 10 over the Jaguars. Referee's whistle possession back to the Red Hawks. Thomas back in the game. Gets it out to McNary. McNary down in the lane. Puts it up for two and it's good! Right as she hits the paint. Before she hits the ground, she puts it up for two, and it's good. 
And she was fouled in the act of shooting, so she will go up to the line for the end one with 4.2 seconds left to go in the game. That shot is just off the rim, no good. Rebound is the Jaguars, and that one's going to be tipped out of bounds. 1.1 seconds now left to go in the game. Your Red Hawks now 48-36 over the Jaguars as they lead by 12 now. Rachel Distor up with a half-court shot, and it's going to be no good. As we now now t- <coughs> excuse me, as we now take you to the fourth and final period right here on GoRedHawks.com. We're going to take a quick break on GoRedHawks.com. Stay tuned. We will be back. Quick mic check, 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 mic check. <clears throat> Hello, folks. We are back here live on GoRedHawks.com. Stats fresh off the printer at halftime. As we will read that here in just a few moments. But of course, we've already read the halftime stats. Of course, I'm keeping stats myself. Uh, Sports Information Director Wade Neely just gave me a fresh sheet. So I'll be reading some of those here momentarily. The Red Hawks will take back possession fourth period and final period has begun here. Yasmin Daniels down inside the lane is going to have the ball stolen away by Heidi Thomas. From the backcourt it's going to be Ariana Damper out of Rachel Dister. Heidi Thomas looks, finds Rachel Dister for three just off the mark no good. As they are going to whistle back possession to the Red Hawks, Yasmin Daniels is going to inbound it. And she's going to get it out to Thompson for the Red Hawks. Yasmin Daniel making a great showing here tonight. She comes from the Junior College Columbia State. Not too far away from here, about 45 minutes. Down inside, Faith Show. Excuse me. Ariana Majors. They get the ball back. Daniels up for two, no good. Rebound is the Jaguars. Ariana Damper gets it out to Chanel Howard. Back to Damper. Damper goes down inside the lane. Has that ball tipped away. Saved. And it's going to go to Thompson for the Red Hawks as she takes it back. And the referees are going to blow the whistle here. And I believe from what I saw, Thomas might have taken too many steps while holding the ball. Thomas is going to inbound it from the baseline. Red Hawks still with possession. Thompson looking. Big decision goes out to Bethany Lamont. Back to Thomas. 
up for two and it's no good. Right now your score still 48-36. Red Hawks still on top by 12. Thomas, as we stand up to the foul line, for some free throws here. She puts up her first one, it's good, she'll have another. Second shot is good as well. Thompson now up with 11 points of the night for herself. Tisha Worthy from the top of the key. She's going to shoot that one down to Amber Brooks. Up for two. No good. Right now, Red Hawks lead 50-36. as Amber Brooks was fouled. That one's going to be on Bethany Lamont, her fourth of the night. Brooks' first shot is up and good. She'll have another one. Brooks now with 17 points of the night as she's leading the game in scores on both sides. Second shot is up and good. Now goes up to 18 points for herself. For those of you scoring at home. And of course, if you are scoring at home and you notice that I might be making a mistake here or there, well, that's to be accepted cause, <coughs> expected because this is my first time back broadcasting uh, since probably May. As that one's going to be no good by the Red Hawks. Jaguars back with possession. Chanel Howard is going to take a few moments, contemplate some thoughts here about what the Jaguars' next move is as they're going to get it out to Amber Brooks. It's going to be low. Red Hawks look to take back possession. My view was blocked there for just two seconds. Jaguar still back with possession. Little known fact. Head coach, new head coach for the Red Hawks, the late uh, Red Hawks men's basketball team, Billy Evans. This is his first season here with the Red Hawks as that goal was made. I believe, not really sure who that was exactly. Now position will be given back to the Red Hawks. Inbounding it is going to be Brooklyn Blanchard. Going out to Destiny Williams. Thomas going down inside the paint. Back out to Ariana Majors. That one's going to be stolen away by Amber Brooks of the Jaguars. Goes out to Damper. Worthy down inside the paint. Looks to put up two, just bounces off the back of the rim. Rebound's going to be Damper, puts it up for two, still no good. Put back, still no good by Amber Brooks. As Amber Brooks is going to go up to the line for two. As that first shot is good by Amber Brooks. She's going to have another. Amber Brooks now with 19 points on the night. Second shot is no good. Red Hawks back with possession. As that shot is going to be good. Still did not see who my view was kind of blocked there. 54-39 is your score. Heidi Thomas, Rachel Dister up for three. Bounces just off the mark, no good. That one is going to be saved almost by Heidi Thomas.
Red Hawks back with possession. Samaya Thomas looks to go inside. Gets it back out to Destiny Williams. Down to Brooklyn Blanchard. Looks to go down inside. Yasmin Daniels is going to be shoved out of bounds. They're going to give back possession to the Jaguars. As I believe the referee's called traveling. I'm not sure if I really saw that there. But of course, uh, that's why they're on the court and I'm sitting right here. It's going to be Ariana Damper down inside the lane, up for two. And it's going to finally bounce in good. Damper now with five points of the night herself. Thomas, top of the key. Lacey Reed coming back into the game for the Red Hawks. Brooklyn Blanchard. Out to Thomas. They tipped away by Tisha Worthy. Goes out to Lacey Reed up for two, and it's good. Lacey Reed now with two points, her first two points of the night. As that shot is going to be good by the Jaguars, I believe, by Ariana Damper. She goes up now seven points on the night. Brooklyn Blanchard going out to Destiny Williams. Out to Thomas. Down inside the lane. And it's going to be <coughs> a ball going out of bounds. Look. Possession still with the Red Hawks. Brooklyn Blanchard is going to inbound it for the Red Hawks. And, uh, Referees with a quick discussion. And something might have come up as they settled it real quick. Brooklyn Blanchard is going to inbound it as she gets set. Well, finally launching out to Treasure Hunt. Goes on out to Brooklyn Blanchard down inside the lane. Up for two just off the edge of the rim. Jaguars back with possession. Chanel Howard top of the key up for three just off the edge of the mark. Daniel's going to get it out to Destiny Williams, bringing it back from the backcourt. Williams goes out to Treasure Hunt. That one's going to be tipped away almost out of bounds as Hunt's going to save it, gets it back out to Williams. Williams is going to motion Lacey Reed. Reed is going to get it. She's going to look, and there's the whistle. This is going to be blown on the Jaguars' Rachel Dister. Her third foul of the night. Treasure Hunt launches one out to Williams. Williams to uh, uh, Yasmin Daniels. Williams down inside the lane, puts up two. No good off the rim. Coming back into the game now is going to be Ariana Majors. Coming in for Yasmin Daniels. Also, Bethany Lamont coming back into the game. Treasure Hunt launches one out to Brooklyn Blanchard. As Destiny Williams is going to save that one back out to Blanchard. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Chanel Howard. And she had a little bit of interference on that one. Timeout is going to be called. We are going to take the timeout with him. It's going to be with the Red Hawks. We'll be right back. Go RedHawks.com.
back here live <clears throat> on GoRedHawks.com. Treasure Hunt launches one out to Brooklyn Blanchard. Blanchard goes back out to punt on the right lane side. That one's going to be tossed out of bounds. Red Hawks still with possession. Brooklyn Blanchard to inbound it. Gets it out to Treasure Hunt. Hunt out to Blanchard. Tries to go down inside. Gets it back out to Destiny Williams. Williams back out to Blanchard. Finds Hunt. Up for three. And it's good. Hunt now with eight points on the night. Right now, top of the key, Ariana Damper from Tisha Worthy. Down to Amber Brooks, up for two. No good, and she is going to hit the paint hard along with Treasure Hunt. Right now, your current score, 58-43. Red Hawks still lead over the Jaguars as Amber Brooks is going to be sent up to the line. Official holds up two. She will be shooting two free throw shots. Three minutes and three seconds left to go into the fourth period. First shot is up. No good. She's going to have another. That foul is going to go on Treasure Hunt. Her third foul of the period. Second shot off the mark. No good. Bethany Lamont with the quick rebound. Destiny Williams. She's going to motion her team, trying to set up a play here. Ariana Majors back into the game. Quickly gets it to Brooklyn Blanchard on the top of the key. Three ball is good by Treasure Hunt. What an incredible shot. Treasure Hunt now with 11 points on the night. Down inside, it's going to be Ariana Damper for two, and she's going to get it. Right now, Damper with nine points of the night. Head coach Billy Evans for the Red Hawks doing an incredible job here as they have really, <coughs> Red Hawks have really shown some enthusiasm here tonight as they lead 61-45. As this is Billy Evans' first year coaching for the Red Hawks as he used to coach at the University of Mobile for the Rams. Well, in fact, he did his first season at Northeast Louisiana in 1977. As we are glad to have Billy Evans here coaching for the Red Hawks. Here is his first season. Along with assistant coach Jenna Sullivan, her first season. She started her season at Marion in 2017. Two eleven now left to go in the fourth period, fourth and final period. As Tisha Worthy, up to Chanel, goes out to Ariana Damper for two. Red Hawks are going to get possession back. Treasure Hunt going down to Destiny Williams. So they're going to get it out to Brooklyn Blanchard, top of the key. Trying to take it inside. There's the whistle. As Brooklyn Blanchard up to the foul line for two. First shot is up. No good. She'll have another. Second shot is up. No good. There's the whistle. Referees motioning. Right now, a minute 48 now left to go in the game. 61 45 is still your score. Red Hawks lead. Our Anna Majors up for two. That one's going to be blocked.
Ariana Majors was fouled while shooting that as she was going to send up to the foul line as well for two. Her shot is up and no good for Major. She's going to have another one. What an incredible job done tonight by the Lady Red Hawks. Excuse me, not Lady Red Hawks. It's the Red Hawks, as all teams are called Red Hawks. These ladies have shown <laughs> some great effort here tonight, and that effort is paying off here in their first season under the supervision of Billy Evans. Jaguars with possession. Tisha Worthy up for three, no good. Red Hawks back with possession. Thompson down inside the front court in the lane. Ariana Majors up for two. No good. There's the whistle as soon as she puts it up. Foul is going to go on. Amber Brooks for the Jaguars, her second. Ariana Damper goes out to Tisha Worthy. Worthy looking. Looks like a timeout is called, and we are going to take the timeout with them. We'll be right back. Go to RedHawks.com. Back here live on GoRedHawks.com. This is going to be Ariana Damper inbounding it to Heidi Thomas. That one's going to be just outside her reach. The whistle's going to be blown. The noise from the crowd does not sound good. Jaguar still with possession. Ariana Damper is going to inbound it for the Jaguars. A minute 15 left to go in the game. As it is Tisha Worthy. Gets it out, and that one's going to go right out of bounds. Clock winding down. Now a minute six left to go in the game. Red Hawks still lead, 61-45 over the Jaguars. As that one is going to be Red Hawks ball. Thompson brings it up from the backcourt, top of the key. The, under a minute left to go here. As Thompson is going to look, maybe run down the clock here. Treasure Hunt is going to have that tipped away, and she's going to save it before it goes over and back. Down inside the lane. Two Ariana Majors. Or two, and it's good. Majors now with six points on the night. Shot put up by Tisha Worthy, and there's the whistle. <laughs> Tisha Worthy was fouled. She's going to go to the line for two. Coming into the game momentarily will be Lakin Arnett. First shot is no good for Tisha Worthy. She's going to have another. Coming out for the Red Hawks will be Ariana Majors. 36.5 seconds now left to go in the game. Red Hawks in the bonus. Second shot by Worthy is no good. Bethany Lamont under the basket with the rebound gets it out to Thompson. Under 30 seconds left to go here. 
in the game. Thompson gets it out to Hunt. Hunt looking to go down inside the lane. Gets it to Lake and Arnett for two. And it's good. Lake and Arnett's first two of the night. Less than 15 seconds now left to go. Shot clock and the game clock are synchronized now together. Tipped away. Thompson with the ball. The last minute shot up is no good. But that doesn't even matter anyway as the Red Hawks will win by 20 points. What an incredible night. Red Hawks with the win 65-45 as the Red Hawks will take on the win. A great way to start off their 2018-2019 season with a win here at home at the Curry Christian Life Center. What an incredible game. As we end it here, going to give you some quick stats. Hopefully, get you an interview here with Coach momentarily, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but we'll be right back here on GoRedOx.com. Back here live on GoRedHawks.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do some quick stats here. Hopefully we're going to get an interview uh, by Billy Evans. Of course, this is his first year coaching uh, with the Red Hawks and with a big win. Uh, that also comes with uh, just a really, really great opportunity uh, to have him here uh, on the air and just get some few words uh, about what happened tonight. Right now, I'm going to give you some stats here uh, after the game. Uh, now, keep in mind there are some errors in these, so there were some that I counted and some that I did not count uh, because uh, there was, there, sometimes my view was blocked or sometimes uh, I was writing down another player's name and some, another player scored, and I'm not really sure uh, who exactly scored. These are not official. I bet they are as close to official as I can get them. Uh, so right now, Heidi Thomas for the Jaguars with five points. Uh, Ariana, <coughs> Ariana Damper finishing with nine points on the night. Amber Brooks, highest score right now, as she goes up to 19 points on the night. Uh, Tisha Worthy with seven points. Uh, Ashante Sims and Rachel Dister. Rachel Dister actually with five points. Uh, Ashante Sims has still not scored. Uh, but right now, that is your current stats for the Jaguars. Now for your Red Hawks. Destiny Williams with a great night of 14 points finishing. Brooklyn Blanchard with two points. Uh, Ariana Majors with six points. Bethany Lamont with eight points. Treasure Hunt with 11. 
Lakin Arnett with two points, Lacey Reed with two, Samaya Thompson with 14 points, excuse me, 11 points, Taylor McNary with two, and Yasmin Daniels with six points. Those are your stats for the game tonight as your uh, final score, 65-45, Red Hawks win. Uh, they win by a huge, huge, huge amount, 20-point win. Uh, great start out for the season. Uh, just stay with us tuned, folks. Momentarily, we will get Billy Evans here, hopefully, for uh, just a quick interview uh, to say a few words and get it out uh, for a big win here tonight for the Red Hawks as they win 65-45 here tonight for their home opener as the Red Hawks will play next time, November 1st, against Bryan College, 5.30 p.m. right here at the uh, Curry Christian Life Center. Be sure to tune here at 5.30 as they will play Bryan College. We'll be right back here on Red Ho- uh, GoRedHawks.com with an interview from Billy Evans here to say some final words to close this out right here. Stay tuned.
you hear me? Yeah. I, I, I can hear you. Okay, good. Uh, head coach Billy Evans, great, great night tonight. 20-point uh, win for you guys, 65 to 45. Really, really good job. Uh, what do you think is one of, the, one of the key successes tonight's win for the uh, Red Hawks? Uh, well, probably the biggest key was uh, the bench play, the, the, the fact that I could, could get some players in position to do some things that probably never done before. Right. You know, I had a, uh, because of foul situations, we had a, a three guard that had to go play post and did a great job in the second half. Yes. And, it, you know, uh, not only did she, I mean, she, she rebounded well, she shot the ball well, and she's not practiced that, and she, and she was able to do it. I right. thought the team uh, was resilient. I thought the team from, from Chicago, I thought Governor State did a really good job of, of making us uncomfortable at times and taking us out of what we wanted to do. And, and that I think that's a, uh, a the credit to this team right here is they, they, they made a way. And that's one of the things we talk about in practice is make a way. And, and they did. They figured out a way to win this thing. They figured out a way to get the ball in the hole in crucial times to make crucial stops. A lot to grow on. We've got a tough challenge ahead of us. You know, we got Brian coming in here uh, next Thursday. Then, then we play uh, arguably the toughest schedule uh, that I've ever had to play. We've got Union uh, oh, yeah? out of Tennessee at Union. We've got uh, oh. we've got uh, to play. Uh, two of the teams in the Mid-South Conference that are tough, Lindsey Wilson right. and Cumberland. Uh, and then we have, uh, for, for Thanksgiving, we get to play the number one and number three team in the oh nation. Oh, boy, that's going to be good Thanksgiving and, for yeah, sure. Yes, it did. We go over to Jackson, play Vanguard, and play uh, uh, Campbellsville. So we got a Definitely. tough challenge. Yeah, we're going to take this and enjoy it tonight. Uh, pat the girls on the back, tell them they did a great job. They worked hard. They never quit playing hard. And, and uh, like I said, tomorrow morning we'll look at this and get ready to go for the next one. It'll be a challenge all of our. Definitely, Coach. Uh, now, this is your first year coaching. Uh, what are some of the things that when you first came into this program you saw, you kind of evaluated everybody, looked at everything, and then uh, fast forward to today, what's some of the things that you've picked up on, things that uh, the girls have probably, uh, you know, done better, improved on? What were some of the key points that you can kind of hit on well, for everybody? Well, I'm a, I'm a 180 degree different than what uh, Coach Bent was. Right. Uh, my my personality is completely different. My style is completely different. And so the girls have had to adjust to that. And at the same time, I've tried to adjust to what they were used to. But you know, at the end of the day, it is my personality is my personality. Right. Uh, I I think they're they're going to have to learn that. They're learning that hey, this is what the coach wants. And at the same time, I'm trying to teach them what I want. It's very simple. Put that ball in that hole more Def than the opponent. You know, Definitely. And, and that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's all I want. I want to outscore my opponent and, and play good defense. And uh, they're going to learn that. They're going to learn to, to trust the system. And that's not easy because Kyle did definitely. a great job. I mean, tell you what, now, yeah. he, he definitely left me some players. Uh, he, he recruited real well. He left some players here that, that I think we could be successful with. And it's just making them understand this is what I want. Uh, it's going to be great. I, I, can, I can't. I, I'm excited. I can't wait because I think, I think in January, February, and, and gosh, on into March, we're going to be we're going to be dynamite. Oh yeah. yes, sir, uh, coach. Yeah, no doubt about uh, it. Definitely couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, if you could shout some players right now, just kind of uh, who you think uh, really stood out tonight. Uh, what, what players would it be? Well, I told you, uh, you know, uh, I had to play a girl that you know had not played in the post. Uh, you know, Yasmin. Uh, uh, played the three card spot for me, and and we you know we asked her to do it, uh, and, and, and you know she just stepped up and did it. Uh, right. They, you know, they, uh, I, I thought uh, you know uh, Samari Thompson came on, played point guard for me, real as a freshman. Uh, Ari uh, did a great job, uh, majors uh, in the post, and so. I, th I think those three girls probably did some things that they weren't prepared to do and they did it very well. Oh, for definitely, yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, right now, Kevin, produ uh, producer here, Kevin Hood, I uh, want to wrap it up. I just want to ask one final question, Coach. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, what, what are some of the things that you plan to improve on for the rest of the season? Well, first thing we're going to do is improve on shooting because we were 5 for 22 for the three point line. Right. And, th and that's, that, that's just something we got to work on. The other thing I want to do is make sure that we do a better job of, uh, of taking care of the basketball. I didn't like I didn't like the turnover in the near term. 
Right. And didn't rebound better. I didn't think they were rebounding very well. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, great night tonight, Coach. Uh, any final words for folks, fans out there? No, we, we are at home next Thursday at 5.30. Uh, love to see a crowd come watch us. Uh, it's a lot. I, I can tell you, this is my first win ever in this gym. As an opposing coach coming in here for eight years right. and getting my tail beat, it was finally good to win one here. But finally good to have one here at the Curry Christian Life Center. There you go, folks. Thanks uh, a lot. Thank you, Coach, for being on. Really appreciate it. Look forward to being on soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. God bless you. You too. Uh, that was Billy Evans, folks. Uh, new head coach for the Red Hawks. As I am uh, your play-by-play broadcaster, Will Davis, signing off here on GoRedHawks.com. Thank you all for watching. And hope to see you back here November 1st, next November 1st, next Thursday against Ryan College, 5.30 p.m. Watch the women's Red Hawks live here on GoRedHawks.com. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night.